welcome of the always fabulous Paris Hilton. <laughs> We love the walk. Thank you. So I'm glad that you're here. Let me take you in. Uh huh. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I like your sparkly nails. Thank you're always you. so very fashionable. Yes. I didn't realize that we wear the same size shoes yes, until I, I started doing the research and stuff. Do you find it difficult to find our size? It is because they only make a few pairs and then they're always sold out. And do you know who buys them? Me, you, Sierra was on the show. <laughs> Sierra was on the show a few months ago. I asked her what size shoe she wore because, you know, she's like small yeah. she said i wear an 11. i was like what <laughs> she said yeah sometimes i go to buy shoes and they tell me that you bought the last 11 because they only make anyway so we're part of the same club yeah. and so now congratulations on turning 30. thank you and happy birthday thank you do you feel um like were you scared approaching what they call the big 3-0 i think every girl is i wasn't you weren't? No. I'm fine now, but yeah. in the beginning when I was thinking about it, but now I feel like I've accomplished so much at this age, and I'm excited. Everyone says your 30s are like the best years of your life. They really are. They, you, you, I mean, you know, and the way, the way you approach milestones is you look at the things you've accomplished and you've decided, you know, whether that the things you've done are good or bad or whatever. And so for you, it's all good. Mm. Um, and you celebrated, I know, you had a birthday party in L.A., Yes. And um, who was all there? Who did the DJing? And they, there's your outfit. I love it. Thank you. Was that a flapper theme? What do they call that? A 50s? It was uh, Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. A Moulin Rouge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we had amazing DJs, but manufactured superstars who are incredible. So everyone had such a fun night. And here's the thing that I noticed about that picture. You guys, you might not have noticed, but I'm a Paris Nista and I noticed these things. You very rarely are photographed smiling. And we talked about that last time you were on the show because I think that when you smile like with no teeth, sometimes it's more mysterious. But you're happy and you can't hide it. <laughs> it's your birthday and you're happy with your boyfriend, Sai. Yes. He's cute. Thank you. Yeah, he's cute. Yes. Look, <laughs> are you in love with him? I'm really in love with him. I'm so happy. Yeah. yeah. You've been with him now for a moment. How long have you guys been together? It's almost a year. That's a lot in Paris time. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying. All things considered. Yeah. And um, do you do you think you'll marry him? We'll see what happens. Yeah. Right now, I'm so happy. I can't imagine myself with anyone else. He's just perfect for me. Well, you know, we here at the show have teamed up with Nivea, and you know, Nivea is always good because they remind us to stay ready for romance with soft skin. So, mm -hmm. tell us something romantic about how he delivered you your birthday surprise. Because I know what it is, but tell me how it happened. <laughs> Well, he's a prankster, so he kind of played a practical joke on me. He said, come outside, I have a surprise for you. And this yellow car, this yellow Lexus pulls up, and I'm like, yellow? <laughs> I oh. don't want to say anything. I'm like, thanks. And then he's like, just kidding. And then the white one pulled up, and I was very happy. Oh, wait a minute. I like the yellow that, wait, this from a girl who has a pink Bentley. Look, show that picture again. <laughs> <laughs> I made the joke that your driveway looks like the Skittles pack, but okay, so it's, it's the you. same. It's almost a $400,000 car, birthday gift for you, and he got it in white. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You know, I met your mom and dad at Larry King's um, goodbye party. How was that? And we had, <laughs> well, it, 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 was, it was nice. We had a nice conversation, um, and your mother was letting me know that she is participating in your reality show, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about in just a moment. But she, I say all that to say, we're going to meet, because she said she's going to come here also yeah. at some point. Um, all right, so, Sai, getting back to your boyfriend, um, I heard that he's getting you to work out. Mm -hmm. You see, you don't impress me as the workout <laughs> type. I never have been, but, but he's, he's really into his health, yeah. and I... I feel like turning 30, you need to start working out and eating healthy, yeah. and that's what I've been doing. Do you know here at Hot Topics, um, there, were, there have been some pictures of you around, and I led the charge, you guys. I'm not going to front, because Paris here is here. Remember I was asking, did, did she get butt implants? <laughs> some, did you see the pictures in the magazines? And, and, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I didn't. I well, never got any implants. No, <laughs> but, but what I assume, now that you're talking about working out, I guess you're doing lunges. Because mm -hmm. lunges poof out your butt. Yeah. 
I think I'm just eating healthy now. Before I was underweight, and now I'm at a normal, healthy weight. And yeah. I don't know. The media is first saying that I'm pregnant. First I'm too skinny. Then they're saying I'm pregnant. Yeah. Now they're saying I'm a bodybuilder. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? Wow. <laughs> well, um, you look good. All right. So recently, I heard that you and Kim Kardashian ran into each other at the after Grammys party, and you buried the hatchet. <sighs> There's so many Hollywood feuds. I, I had no idea that you guys were feuding. But whatever, did you bury the hatchet? I think the media just totally blew things out of proportion. There never was a feud. I've known Kim a very long time, and I'm so happy for everything that's going for her right now. And you're both 30, mm -hmm. and you're both in love. Yes. Do you want to start a competition? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you is going to get married first? <laughs> there. Let the games begin, Kim. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm playing. I never heard you talk about being obsessed with getting married. She, on the other hand, Kim, you're obsessed, so it's fun to <laughs> joke with her about that. All right, so Nicole Richie, she, her wedding came and it went, and we were all following it, and you weren't there. Were you invited? I was out of town. I was busy working. But were you invited? Yeah, of course. I've known her my whole life. Oh, okay. The media made up that story, too. Uh-huh. They always make up stories all the time. I don't even read anything anymore. Yeah. Well, it's best not to look at the, the magazines, especially when yeah. you're part of it. However, I do have to say about you that you have, um, we don't see you coming out of nightclubs the way we used to. Like, mm -hmm. you've really fallen back, and I think that that's a good thing, because now they're concentrating on, they're concentrating on this other side of Hollywood. And a lot of these kids are looking really crazy these days, so it's good, you know? Now, your Aunt Kyle and your Aunt Kim are both on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh. There they are. Love them. That Kyle is something else with that dark hair, dark hair beauty, so and your, gorgeous. your uncle is a hunk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh, were you close with them growing up? Very close. Our family is so close. They're like older sisters to me. Yeah. Well, can you give us the inside track? Um, because the word on the street is that your Aunt Kim is not coming back. Mm -hmm. Is she going to be coming back to Housewives? I haven't talked to her about it, but yeah. um, I'm not sure. With the way things ended, if she wants to go back or not. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> The way they edit things yeah. in reality shows, it's like they always blow everything out of proportion. Yet, you're going back to reality TV. Yeah. And on that note, <laughs> look, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we've got a special birthday gift from Paris. Plus, we want to talk about your new reality show. Stay here, OK? OK, good. <laughs> Who's got a new fragrance? It's our lovely friend, Paris Hilton. Yeah. I smell a little beachy, South Beachy. This smells good. I like the Thank packaging. You. How cute. Look at she, she's moguling. Look what she's doing. <laughs> I mean, the thing about you is, is that I know that you, you had the hair products. You still have them. Um, now you have the perfume, and I know you have an app. Yes. Tell us about the Paris app. It's a new app for your iPad and your iPod and um, iPhone. <laughs> and it's, it's a lot of fun. You can have. There's a different feature called the BFF feature, uh -huh. where you can take your picture and put it with a picture of me, so it looks like we took a picture together. Well, we have a picture uh -huh. to demonstrate. It's the BFF feature. Take a look. Yeah. <laughs> Paris, we're part of the same family. There's your father, and there's your mother. My brother Tommy is your brother, too, and, and that's me when I'm 10. <laughs> Aw, cute. So, you know, you're never one to let dust grow under your feet. You're always doing something to bring in even more money than the Hilton name has. Um, you also have your new reality show, which we're all excited about this. It's called The World According to Paris, and it's going to be on Oxygen, and it's co-starring Par um, um, Charlie Sheen's ex, Brooke mm. Mueller. Yeah. Now, he's the most recent ex and mother to the twins, and I had no idea that you guys were friends until I mm. asked your mother when we were at Larry King's party. Yeah. And she said that you guys... We're friends since. Well, I've known him from Charlie because Charlie lives a couple houses from me. So when they were married, they would come over for all my parties and things. Oh, see, I thought you guys were friends since childhood. No. Okay, so you're adult friends. Yes. Like parties. <laughs> Haven't you noticed that Paris is not talking in the baby voice anymore? <laughs> it's a good grown woman voice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... So, are we going to see you and Brooke get into good grown woman capers on the show? <laughs> There's a lot of drama that happens in the show, yeah. especially with Brooke. She's an open book, and 
Yeah. Everything is on the table. And I know, so your mother's in it. Now is Cy, your hot boyfriend, going to be in it? Yes, he's really shy. He hates the cameras, uh -huh. so I had to convince him to be in it. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I, you know, since you're celebrating your 30th birthday, we here at the show thought that we'd get you a cake. Thank you. And so, uh-huh. <laughs> With 30 candles, and it's <laughs> actually... Um, with your new home oxygen on the front. Thank you. Do you see? Thank you. Well, do you want to lean in and blow out the candles? Sure. All right. I've never had this many candles. You're so shy. All right. Making oh, a wish. Oh. All right, you make your wish. And wait a minute, hold on. Before you do that, since it's your 30th birthday, we decided to get you 30 cakes. What? <laughs> so here are the other 29. And we got some hot bottles to deliver. and everything Paris, go to wendyshow.com. Don't go away. Ask Wendy is next. Yeah.